mean, they are quite tough to handle. Right, so as you can see, that were hail sto storm that. So we've uh, just nipped enough into the hardware shop. Just a bit of recommendation for him. He's, he uh, sells a bit of frozen bait if anyone's uh, in the area. Just give him a bit of a shout out, nice bloke. We had a bit of a chat with him. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a mixture of stormy weather till early hours at morning. So we're going to knock on Ed for tonight. We have just gone and have a look. We have just gone and have a, had a look at Whistling Sands, but. Let's be realistic, what have we learnt in the last couple of weeks? Well, I've learnt not just the last couple of weeks. It's not worth pushing your luck, is it, and not catching fish. Put a lot of thought into the session, yes, you know, the race session, um, in terms of getting a bit of knowledge off people, planning it properly, and we got fish. We did get lucky, I think, with the size of tide we dropped on there, because when we said everyone was saying it's, when we spoke to people, they were saying it's a perfect side for rays. So we got lucky with the tide, because we, we still went on a bit of a whim, if you like. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go back to the bungalow, have a couple of beers, probably put a bit of TV on, and then get up early in the morning and go and get hard at it. A hus, whatever, whatever's out there. We've got some whiting for bait, we've got mackerel, we've got sardines, I think we've got a little bit of squid left and we've got herring, so we're going to, we're going to catch some fish tomorrow. I'm confident of that. We can inject baits, we can do, you know, we can just have a full day at it. Just um, got another pack of herring. Just got another pack of mackerel. Herring. Oh yeah, <laughs> swinges. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're looking forward. To, we're looking forward to tomorrow now. Um, <coughs> the next bit of this video, we should be <coughs> at the Hus mark, hopefully. Um, the deeper water rock marks are off, off limits because it's twenty odd mile an hour wind. But we should get shelter where we're going tomorrow. So we'll see how we get on into it. I mean, I don't know. If we might try and take five, maybe six rods down if we can. I don't know. We'll just see. Put a flapper rig on one, maybe a small pulley rig on the other, and then a decent tote rig, hustle rig out on, on the other. See how we get on. Um, I feel like we're, 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 we're sea fishing gurus now, don't we, Jay? Now we've had a session up rays and stuff. If anyone wants any tips on catching fish with the men? <laughs> I was joking. Don't listen to Carl. <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we'll see you at the mark, guys. Right, we're down. We're putting two rods out to start with. Got a bit of a residual swell. So I put about an hour southwesterly last night. You hit this spot on your right cheek. Just, just about an hour after the high. The sea drops off, which will calm off. So we're going to drop to about 18, 20 mile an hour southwest, which will be right. But putting two rods out to start with, biting and sardine on that one. Just swell a bit still. Seven ounce gripper, front tail trace, rear wire bite trace. Pulley rig, then up pulley. They have a sort of six or six cell clocks on roll, needle, mackerel, and herring. So we'll fire these two out, and hopefully, pick a fish up. Rods are out. Jay's only got one out, and we don't want to catch fish. Yeah, so I've. Uh, I've had him out about 20 minutes. I'm going to reel a smaller bait in. Just put a fresh bait on that, then I'm going to make some wraps. After I get the injection kit out, it worked quite well off here last time, the injection kit. Okay, give Jay a few injections. Pick him up a bit. Just having a brew. No better than a brew. Just had a brew with a pork pie and a sandwich. Oh, bliss. No better than a brew. Down here. <laughs> <laughs> no better than a brew. Down here. At half 6th morning. <laughs> it's not really, it's about, it's about ten. Um, yeah, no, I, lo I, love, I love a brew me, that flask that one about in the last video when we were down here. It's like uh, no better in winter than having a cup of tea when you're fishing, is a bar of coffee. There's Carlin. <laughs> so we'll see how we get on. I'm going to make some wraps up, put them in a tub, I've got down here for the Just keep firing baits out. I'm going to put a three up flap rig out in a minute, or two up flap rig. we double squid because I think that might be alright. Out there. Might as well 
pull another rod out, see if we get something landed. See what happens today. It sees this calming down a bit. Like I say, it wins these from like 50, fourth high 40s, 50 ish, down to uh, early 20s, so it should settle off as it goes to the We're not on our main mark. We call this a new mark it's really good for us, usually. Um, I have blanks a couple of times on here, but twice there were dodgy sessions where it hammered it down with rain and we just give up after a couple of hours. The other time when it was too rough for them. One of the other times was in February. I actually fished it quite hard and didn't get a bite. I think I had one bite, a doggy bite. All other times, basically all other times we've caught fish. So should be good for a fish. Right, I've just put a third rod out. Um, struggling a bit with wind, so the sound might not be too good. Got a tuck flapper he got on one. And then we'll two rings that show just start the video. Still no bite, it's one about third bait up. Sea settled down a little bit. He does it all the time on this, this headland. Probably does it all around the country as well. As soon as they start seeing barnacles up here, on the timeline, usually, because the wind is in blown over it, still settling up. It was a fairly big tide as well. 9.5, I think, or 6. I can't remember. Pushing it on the start of the big tide range up. Yeah, so, you'd expect it to be quite rough at high tide. Even, even on a calm day, you can still get a bit of a swell just because of the height of the water and you know when it hits the rocks when it's at that height if you like but we're not getting any up here now the sound of the sea is quieting down so hopefully we'll get a few fish out of plenty of time so we've got the old injection kit out he's had his regular dose and he's been making some wraps up as well so carry on with that it's quite a clean ground off here. A decent cast, you'll get um, onto clean ground. I found obviously because I've been using a small bait on one rig with that 6 0 cox roll, I can absolutely smash that out. For me, anyway, it, it must go 100 yards at least. So, which is onto sand, so that's that's, that's bang on. Get your gear back every time. So, need to get a fish now. <laughs> I've been here three hours, um, not even a bite, but the baits are coming back stripped. I always think that's a good sign. It's probably just crabs and small fish, but I don't like think it's a bad thing. Yeah, at least something's feeding, hopefully, it'll lead to some bites and some fish. Should have, like you said, Jay, earlier, I should have put the mirrors at the start of this video, then it can't be classed as a blank, then can it today? No. Four more hours, I think. Hopefully, in that time, we'll get some fish out, like I say. But when you start like this on here, sometimes it can be a struggle. You know, you don't expect to at least. I've put three rods out, one's got a flapper gun, and then moved two rigs out, like I showed you in the video at the start of the video. Um, you'd at least expect some dogfish on flapper rig, wouldn't you? Or rocklin, or just something small, pollock, coal fish. Five rods out. Got five rods basically, six baits, including two flapper if you like. So, oh, I'm getting a bite. Look at that bite on the left hand rod then. Just had a little bit of a tap tap. It's, it's not carrying on if it was. That would just been a wave. Oh, yeah, a bit disappointing so far. You know what it's like sometimes on these rock ledges, they can be tough. You can only get a couple of fish out or you can blank. It's, it's a lottery, but you've got to. Have a go if you're going to catch, you know, you're not going to catch out not having a go. Well, see, I've been practicing some casting, I've been standing above and firing it out. Obviously, I've got smaller baits on that I normally fish with. It's been going out quite a decent distance onto the clean stuff, like I said before. There's some clean ground out there, and if you can get on it, you get your gear back every time. And usually, that's where you get the hoss, in numbers anyway. Obviously it's a different time of year now, water's cloudy, it's been quite stormy weather, um, it could probably change the feeding pattern, interrupt the, some of the well, feeding storm yesterday. Yeah right, storm like yesterday, interrupt the feeding pattern to some of the fish or where, the, where they're normally located, they might have moved on or whatever. You know, if they're normally set up in an area of water where it's calm most of the time, they might move on if it gets stormy. 
I'd still expect to get something out today, I'd be really disappointed if we don't. It's a decent tide, it's not probably a very good husk tide, but it's generally for general fishing, it's not a bad tide. Could do it small probably for husk, but you know, there's still a chance of catching anything really. We'll see what happens, like I say. It's been a sluggish start. Another hour's gone past, that's what keeps happening every time, so it's obviously crab activity or small fish. I'm sure there's loads of blennies and stuff off here. So I've done some rock pulling around here before on this stretch. That's what's happening every time. I think there'll be some doggies about at least. I'm going to rebate, recast. I hope there's a little show. We've got a couple of hours, about two hours to low now. We'll see what happens. So yes, yeah, so that's what I'm sending out. Can't get any closer to you, just a sec. It's uh, I was wrong into it when I saw this camera starts rolling. Uh, bait's about six inches long. Perfect size for a bluff. Come on, size of his Willie. Eh? Well, no! Speed high up helps the cast a bit. Get it airborne. You feel like you're going to go in with it, but it's good. It needs all help you can get. Where snaps his rod. Fang, he snapped off. He snapped off. It's still going out now. It's not in the water yet. It's just in the water. Still nothing. We're uh, straight my, straight my hat up a bit. Get the VMO logo in. Um, still nothing. It's really shockingly bad. And top it off. I'm gonna lose sun because we've got an east facing rock ledge. The sun sets in the west, doesn't it, more or less, at this time of year. So, I'm gonna lose the sun, it's gonna be bloody freezing. So, yeah, it's disappointing, disappointing after the highs of Perch Rock, back down to the lows of the Limp Peninsula at the moment. It's just time of year, isn't it, and that, I guess. We're still a little bit early in the tide, but you'd expect to start getting bites on the next bait up at least, minimum. You know, we're going to fish it into darkness and then get off, I think. We'll give it till about six. On about nearly two o'clock now. Low tide's a quarter to four, so. Just uh, keep hoping. That's all we can do. There's not really anything I can do to change it. We've got these wraps that are. Got a mixture of white in mackerel, a bit of squid we're knocking about early. I think we used all the squid, herring, sardine. We're injecting them, trying them injected, trying them not injected. We're holding mackerel oil. But nothing seems to be working at the moment, or oh, there's no fish feeding in front of us. I mean, we could uh, I haven't really got many options because of the conditions either. But I'm still hopeful that we do catch a few fish still. I'm hoping to get about 10 bullets out today, but I think we're going to be lucky to get any out. <laughs> <laughs> a fish would do, wouldn't it? Yeah, even a dogfish. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Catching doggies. I'm surprised. I've fished this mark now for nearly 12 months, and that you'd think, because it's quite a shallower water than what we usually fish, you'd think that there'd be. Oh! Did you have a bite that on right hand road? Oh, well, lucky. Um, you'd think because it's a, sh a shallower venue and kelpie and not as much tide run, you'd think, you'd think you'd get a dogfish. I chuck a fish marks further down the coast to the left of me in even shallow water, probably say 400 yards to the left of me, and I've caught dogfish in big numbers at certain times of year. Not even a doggy bite. Shocking. We've got a cormorant in front of us. It must be dropping down into. It's just dropped down into water. It's been here since we've come down. It must be catching little pollock and stuff, surely. So there must be fish here. 
It's not for us, unfortunately. Trying to find your bike. Yeah, trying to find my bike, probably. Tried short casts, tried long casts. Tried small looks on that flap rig, which I've now brought in because it's cost me two rigs. So, disappointing, disappointing. Underwater for quite a while, don't we? Yeah. Well, like I say, things could still turn around, so we're hoping they do. Finally, just on a doggy flapper. Just lost the sun. Got fish hooked in the snow. Get him up to get him back. Yeah, that one white in mackerel. Uh, oh, white in a mackerel, I think that one. It's not been great, this guy's just that dogfish. I'm gonna give it till it's about four o'clock now. I'm gonna give it till five. Pack up. It's been a bit of a shocker, really. Very disappointing, but it can happen, can't it? You know. In hindsight, we probably should have fished up, fished up whistling sands in the day today. I think. See what happens. Jay keeps thinking he's getting a bite. Spin you around. Think. Yeah, Jay keeps thinking he's getting a bite. I don't think that, that's Is that the one I cast out for you? What are you getting a bite on? Oh, ages ago. <laughs> I lost that rig. I'm pretty right, expert caster today, Jay. I'll be straight into kill. I'm right, expert, expert caster today, aren't I? Yeah, you've lost me a rig. <laughs> well, that yeah, <laughs> showing us. That's redo his wheels when everyone running more the past half hour. <laughs> He's only one running water now for the past 40 minutes. So, uh, yeah, if no one else happens, that'll be it, guys. I think disappointing. But, you know, the highs are yesterday to the lows of today, isn't it? You know, that's it. Tides turn, we could get one in next time. Yeah, that's the other thing. There's something else. They get it wrong all the time on BBC tide times for you. Turn, Don't go with tide times for BBC off, off this, this headland because they're, they're about an hour out. That was 100%. Yeah, you can tell by the side at sound at sea. I mean, it's been doing it for about an hour. It said on BBC low tide we're quarter to four. We're at quarter past four. It's been doing it for an hour. You can tell by the sound of the sea start getting rollers and start smashing bottom of rocks when it changes. Oh, yeah. So we'll just see. See, we'll just fish it, fish it out for this last half hour or so and then get back up quick back. Just some tide up back car up and get off home. Episode of Conga. Only a baby. Nice looked at bottom jaw though. On the it's a back hook with a panel, it's a mustard. I'm trying to think what it is. Big gun, big dog, is it or big gun? Big gun I think it is, yeah. Is it a mustard big gun? Yeah, it looks a bit it's a bit it's a bit shaped like a circle slightly. So yeah, not bad. I'm trying to get another one, packing up in like 10 minutes. Might as well chuck another bait out. Jay's just up to Conga. It's only a small one. Where's the rest of your rig gone? Oh my god. It's right there. Oh, well, basically, that's his pulley rig. <laughs> basically, I, I couldn't see your rig, I could just see hooks. Nice little Conga Wonga on uh, plank. Herring, is it? I don't need them baits. Yeah, Herring. Is that your flapper rig? Yeah, it's flapper. That's rig. flapper rig, it's not a pulley rig. He's... I don't know where it's going. Where's the bit going? It's has got both feet. It's <laughs> got both feet, isn't it? <laughs> Greedy little shit, isn't it? It's, got, it's on the one at circle, looks there. It's took both baits. Other one's there. Oh, yeah, it's tried to get both baits, yeah. At least it's on circle. Right, we'll, we'll get it on and get it put back. 